Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a speed edit retouching video for you, but I decided to do a voiceover so I can explain you what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and what tools I'm using within my workflow. So I hope you'll find that interesting. As you can see, I've already started. The first thing I always do is to duplicate my background layer. Uh, even though I'm not working on it usually, I still like to keep the copy of the background layer just in case I need to go back to it or anything happens with the file, I still have duplicated the original image just in case of emergencies. I'm starting uh, to retouch with the empty layer and the first is always the hair and the flyaways. I'm using a combination of clone stamp tool and a spot healing brush depending on what area of the face or hair I'm working on. Uh, when I, I need to get rid of some flyaways or stray hairs that are on the face and on the skin texture I'm using a clone stamp too as it gives me a little more accuracy and more control over where I'm sampling from but I found out for cleaning the hair within the hair for little stray hairs that are inside the hair the spot healing brush does a pretty good job uh, if you're using a small brush and small strokes. Moving on to cleaning the skin on another uh, empty layer. I like to keep them separately. I'm also using the same tools, spot healing brush and a constant tool. And I'm only taking care of uh, little imperfections that are textured or I know that I won't be able to get rid of with the touching and burning. So next step in my workflow is always dodging and burning. I'm using uh, two sets of curves, one for micro dodge and burn and one for general dodging and burning. And I'm also using a black and white helping layer to kind of help me see a little better all the areas that needs to be worked on. I'm starting with a micro dodge and burn that is on a pixel level with a very very small brush and I'm trying to fix the skin and even out the transitions between the shadows and the light therefore make the skin look more seamless and more flawless If you are not familiar with this technique I will be doing a video explaining everything but essentially dodging is lightening the areas and burning is darkening the areas I'm starting with a micro dodge and burn the kind of and make it really perfect. And then moving on to a general dodging and burning where I'm just darkening the shadows and lightening the highlights to bring a more dimension and more contrast uh, into the picture on selected areas. When I'm doing a general dodging and burning, I'm not using helping layers anymore because I like to see the colors and see the effect of the dodging and burning a little bit better. Before I move on to the retouching eyes, I'm just filling up this gap in the eyelash as there was a noticeable gap I didn't really like. And next step will be retouching eyes. If you are interested about how I'm doing it, I made a video on it and I will link it in the top right corner here and also in the description box below so you can have a look and check it out. After eyes, I'm filling the brows on a grey layer with a black brush with a small size like 4 to 5 pixels and just a local color correcting before I move on to liquify. For liquify I need to make a stamp visible layer because liquify filter works only with pixels. In Liquify I'm basically just fixing the lip line a little bit, make it a little bit more sharp. Uh, makeup artist did amazing job so there is not much work to do. After Liquify I'm moving on to color grading as we are nearing to the end of my workflow. I'm color grading with curves. One is RGB curve, then I'm working with the RGB separately to color grade with them. I'm also using selective color 
for a little more accurate color representations and color shifts and a couple of more other layers After color grading I noticed that the lips are a little bit dull so I'm bringing a tiny bit of highlight into them with the blend tip and another set of curves for the drink and burning to kinda touch up on everything if there is something that needs to be fixed yet. After color grading you sometimes see things in a different light so I'm always bringing another set of curves for the drink and burning for additional cleaning. And on the very end, just bringing a little bit of high pass filter to sharpen the image. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed me walking you through my workflow. Uh, please like and subscribe and also leave me a comment in the comment section down below if you want to see more videos like these. Uh, I love to make more voiceovers of retouching, just let me know if you're interested. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Bye!